Earth's forces aimed at the Earth. can qualify into the King of Nordic by visiting one of our partners, Sweden, SwedishProLeague.se, Finland, CSGOFinland.fi, Denmark, Esport.dk, and Norway, Gamer.no. Denmark, Finland. Only one country to take it all. To show the others who is truly the king of Nordic. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to King of Nordic Season 14, Episode 3. So last episode, Sweden managed to claim the jackpot, which means we have a fresh start ahead of us. My name is Mary, and I am your host this fellow season. And I am joined here by two people you might recognize as well, which is Jesper Kjetil-Sedendal and Jonathan Hirozawa Grazinga. All right. Nice melody with my name. Thank you. You make it sound kind of okay. Grot saint in French, it sounds way Wait. worse. Wait, what? Yeah, Grot saint It sounds a bit like Grot saint Now you make it sound cool, so just <laughs> let's, keep it. let's keep just keep that one. All is right. Grot saint No, Grot saint yeah, anyway, it's uh, <laughs> very from the throat and it sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Burgle. <laughs> Burgle. But um, yeah, so it's Friday. We're here. We have a fresh bracket, which is going to be very interesting. And um, yeah, it's going to be a party. Third time, I think, since the uh, beginning of season 13 in this mm. new version. Yeah. First time was when we came back season 13, we did the fresh yeah. restart. Then we had a fresh restart after Norway took the fr I mean. Uh, took the jackpot season 13 now yeah. it's the third time this first time this season third time also overall. two jackpots in two seasons which yeah is from very two fun. different nations so it's yeah. also interesting it like builds i don't want to be the trend like it doesn't build a trend it's like very v various we had like a norway absolutely dominating mm -hmm. season yeah. 13 now it seems like sweden has uh, taken the lead but uh, yeah, so yeah, but that's wh that, that was my point. Uh, we've, we've had incredible teams coming into the King of yeah. Nordic now, yeah. and uh, to be honest, the both of the teams that have been winning the jackpot, they tr truly deserved it. Uh, mm -hmm. The way that they've been playing, I know that Sweden, for example, had a tough time in the first episode when he actually got to the throne, but yeah. after that, it was basically almost a walk in the park. Nothing to take away yeah. from their opponents, but it was almost a, like all of the games were 16 to in between four and seven basically yeah. mm. uh and uh, yeah sweden looked very promising and the jackpot team before yeah. that also looked very promising yeah. so again we might have another set of hands coming on to taking on the throne i mean yeah. uh, so uh, it's Denmark. gonna be really interesting to see um to see the new swedish team that are coming in because we've been following the one team for so long so it's gonna be yeah, it's pretty <laughs> unusual we've been four weeks this is the yeah. fifth week we don't have this is where we're actually going to have a new exactly. Swedish team. So we're going to get to know some new guys, maybe some old guys. We'll, well see. Uh, yeah. But yeah. You will see, guys. <laughs> we will see. But let's take a look at tonight's bracket because it is a fresh restart. It's going to be Sweden versus Finland and then Denmark versus Norway. So uh, yeah, it's not a King of the Hill format because of the restart, but it's going to be very interesting to see. Yeah, it's also... Sorry. No, uh, no, take it, off. take it. It's like it's... Uh, this is literally the, the, the 
it's in this kind of configuration wh uh, when you come in as a team uh, you really want to access the, the Friday show mm -hmm. when you have a bracket reset because then everyone starts from the bottom and you have you win too much as you are you're 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 on the throne so it's yeah. like you know while starting from the bottom in a regular King of Nordic because we have the King of Real Structure and forces you to win three matches and it's a yeah. full best of five technically you know yeah. that you would need to win s straight forward so sometimes it's a bit difficult to keep the pace up and keep the momentum mm. but like tonight two matches and uh, you can be yeah holding the front so I think it's a must watch show yeah mm. definitely all right guys shall we get into uh, possibly some map ends for tonight yeah, so yeah so it is going to be Sweden versus Finland in game one and Sweden have banned Nuke and Vertigo. Meanwhile, Finland have banned Dust2 and Inferno. So what you can choose from is Mirage, Train and Overpass. The way you place your vote is very simple. You just type the word pick followed by the map you want to see played or write in the Twitch chat. So uh, yeah, Mirage, Train and Overpass. Three really good maps. We've been talking about maps so many times now. So I, I think a lot of the viewers as well are starting to, to feel that uh, these are the com most common mm -hmm. maps we have in King of Nordic, to, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, that's why I would love to see more Dust 2, more Vertigo. Even though yeah. Vertigo is completely new, it's an insta ban. I actually talked to one of the players during the qualifiers, and they were like, yeah, it's, it's an insta ban. It's, we, we don't even have to care about banning it because yeah. it is going to be banned. Um, so that is some of the strategies from, from a couple of teams, but as, as, as I was saying, Mirage, Train, and Overpass are the three most common maps I think we have mm -hmm. in King of Nordic. Uh, yet. I mean, even through the qualifiers, I mean, I know you have been casting two qualifiers this weekend, mm -hmm. and I've only been casting uh, Not Train only, Mirage. You have Lopez. been casting two qualifiers as well. Yeah, you've been yeah. casting. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, for the two qualifiers I've been casting for the first time. <laughs> yeah, but you <laughs> did experience. pretty well. Yeah, thank you. It uh, can <laughs> be better, I guess. Like, I've been uh, rewatching a bit the, the VOD, and I don't know if you get this feeling. It's, also it's very hard when you watch yourself, like, uh, Casting, that's yeah. already super hard when we do it on Friday. I have a hard mm. time going through the, the VOD myself. But when I'm alone, oh, pepperoni. It's like, but like honestly, <laughs> it's so struggling. But yeah, I, I did it, pinpoint a yeah. few things I could improve. So eventually, we'll see if in the future I yeah. keep that up. But how many maps? Uh, because you were Six. talking about maps. No, no, but how many uh, different maps were Three. there? It was Mirage Train Overpass. Uh, exactly, uh. that's what I mean. And that's <laughs> yeah, basically that's what, what we've seen throughout the qualifiers as well. I, I know that uh, when I casted. Uh, uh, I think there was a Danish qualifiers we had overpass. Mm. The same went for uh, uh, the Norwegian qualifiers. We we it, it's uh, like you're saying, Mirage and Overpass are the two maps that I've been casting the most when it comes to the qualifiers. Mm. And I and trains, I know I that, and I do believe I'm not hundred percent sure about this, but I do believe that the next qualifier is going to be at least Vertigo for one of the qualifying partners going to add Vertigo. Huh. Uh, hopefully, they said that they're working on it as, as much as possible mm. uh, because I would love to see more Vertigo. Even though it's in the qualifiers, yeah. I would love to see it. And I do know that there's a couple of players actually very interested in that map. They know that you know, it's new and it's going to be fun to play on and it's going to be challenging. So, And he also mentioned something really well about Vertigo uh, when it comes to um, uh, the switch out, the cash. Mm. And both of the maps are pretty similar, actually. This is a very small map. You can go aggressive if you, if you want to. You can also play very passive. It's but it gives you the better opportunity to actually... Yeah, because you can mm. just smoke off the uh, uh, elevator there. To go down the elevator, go into A. You can go fast B if you would like. But the A side is the most open one. I saw a video from Get Right here for a couple of days ago. And he said that when we played, A side is the most easiest side to actually take. Doesn't mm. you rem Does it like... Remember you a bit of cobblestone? I know we haven't played that map that much. Uh, it has been in the, in, the, in the map pool for a while, but we yeah. players we didn't really want it, and I could just get that feeling. D despite the map being like on, on different levels, it seems like there is like a very big trend around A side. No matter yeah. what, eighty percent of the action when we players are playing Vertigo, or playing around A, mm. uh, it was a bit the same in cobble on cobble. You on the B side, yeah. yeah cobblestone wasn't too. I don't play C as myself, but it was Dust 2 replaced Cobblestone, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think Dust 2 came in when Cobblestone got yeah. for the like second time. January, I think? Oh, or no, was it earlier? Uh, I think More. it was a lot earlier. Yeah, yeah, I, think, I think Dust 2 came out last year yeah. around October, maybe even. Okay. Huh. August in October, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you know, you can tweet in. Hashtag King and Nordic, send in those yeah. tweets. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it, it's just very interesting to see where, mm. where the maps are going at the moment. And I'm really interested to see what they're going to be doing with yeah. cash because it feels like one of the maps, they're so balanced. 
I have a, que a question for you. I mean, you can even uh, you can answer it. It's a bit it's CS related, but um, it's actually a question I'm asking you guys in the chat as well or watching at home. Do you think that like it will be for the best for, for the best uh, for the good of the game or in the game's interest to extend the map pool maybe? Because uh, like you said, we had seven map pool seven maps. When you think uh, about large and you compare it to other games, it's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, compared to and for me, it's crazy. It's uh, like yeah. I mean, obviously, if you compare it to Dota or LoL, there is only yeah. basically one map to be played on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Hots had like around uh, ten maps, I think. Here was yeah. on the storm, but seven. You ha you have seven, but technically you only have three. You know what I mean? Mm. Because right now, like uh, it, there is a common agreement that Vertigo will be banned, Destiny mm -hmm. will be banned almost all the time. Mm. Um, Nuke sometimes now it kind of makes a breakthrough, but still not a very popular map in mm. a on a competitive level. So it's always like yeah, this. It's more in the pro in the pick section. I mean, that's where I, I think we would ask help from you guys as well, mm. uh, if you would like to see, because this is something that is interesting for both us casters and, and maybe for even you viewers at home and for sure for the players. If they don't ban one of the maps that are a little bit more uncommon, let's challenge the players a little bit and actually pick that map just just to see that map evolve a little bit more because is this a, mm. it's exactly what you're saying. We, we don't see them and especially more in the ban and pick phase of the bigger tournaments or smaller mm. tournaments, whatever, where they have the pick and ban system. We have the viewers decide. Or maybe so you enforce one map and you play a full best of three on that map. Could be interesting. Maybe. Yeah. Like you go down to one map and yeah. then you have to play your full best of three on this map. Yeah. Yeah, but that would be uh yeah, but then you can't really extend a map pool know. either. Yeah, but like it's uh, you know two ideas. Either you yeah. extend it or you <laughs> restrict it to one map. I don't. I don't That's know. That's true. I agree. I agree. All right, guys. Also, honor bets are open now. So if you feel confident enough, you can place your honor bets. The way you place your vote is very simple. You just type the word bet followed by the country you think will win, followed by the score you think they will have. It's shown right there. So um, yeah. We are going to make our predictions a little bit later because we want all the information before we go ham. But Jasper, yeah, indeed. Now do you I did I did mention it a little bit earlier uh, for you guys, but uh, actually you br brought up something very interesting to talk about for all of you who play Counter Strike out there. Um, make sure to tweet in because that is very uh, interesting thing to discuss. I think uh, so. Using hashtag King Nordic, you can send in tweets and tell us what do you think about. Uh, uh, extending the map pools. Uh, is there anything you would like to change within the maps or just as you were saying, enforcing it one map, best out of three? Would that work out? Would it not work out? And how could we, uh, as also the community of Counter Strike, make sure that the, the less played maps actually get more mm. view time, uh, whatever you'd say? Yeah. Play time, game time. I don't know. I don't know mm. because uh, it, uh, just very to wrap this up because. Uh, just to wrap this up, I mean, the three last maps that have been imp uh, the four, if you take the chronologically, the four last maps that have been implemented Inferno, then Nuke, then Dust 2, then Vertigo. You know, that mm. those four yeah. maps took like an entire, like, like six months for Inferno to. I mean, Inferno made the breakthrough fairly yeah, fast yeah, because the, the map was is actually was very. It mm. was a lot, it was improved a lot. Improved a lot, and players instantly felt like, okay, this is a map we, we like to play. Uh, but uh, if you take Nuke, still not really uh, much played, except for big tournament, and it's usually left over for a decider. Hmm. Uh, Dust 2, still not very commonly played. We, I mean, we obviously you have teams like Astralis overperforming on it, but it's only a very rare occasion that you can actually have hmm. a Dust 2 map played in the full best of three. Vertigo, not even going to talk about, because even all tier tournament organizers start have like some difficulty to implement it. So, yeah. mm. no, but that's tr that's true. So, so, so tell tell us what do you guys think about the maps? Yep. What do you think about Vertigo using hashtag King and Nordic on Twitter? You could also, if you would like to, for any reason, send in a picture to King and Nordic. You could do that by uh, posting it on Instagram and using hashtag King and Nordic as well. We don't accept any kind of picture, just so you guys know. There is like a. <laughs> There's a filter, <laughs> so don't try anything too crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Ah, we're pretty, me. to be honest, we're pretty open, yeah. but uh, as long as it doesn't go against the rules. That's that's the nut thing. Yeah. All right. So we talked about it a little bit before, uh, but Sweden did manage to take home the jackpot last episode. So let's take a look at what happened.